way. This then, a birdie putt coming right out on the front side. So I hit a, uh, a wedge to about 18 feet on one, a little uphill left to right. Made, uh, this is your third shot at three then. Yeah, I'll tell you, I got lucky here because watch right where it hits. It lands a foot short of the hole and it's going to hit the pin. And it kicked a little left and missed the pin and ended up uh, spinning back to a foot, but pin, it would have spun off the front. So I got a little lucky there that it uh, missed the pin. All right, this then for birdie at four. Yeah, I hit a good nine iron about 15 feet. It was a tough little pin with to get close to, but uh, I made a good putt there. Continues to rack up the birdies. Typically, the seventh hole, Frank, is not an attack hole, but I think it is right now. The hole location, nice for a little cut here. It's 195, and the wind just slightly into him, and it'll act as a backstop. Oh, Mark, he's already birdied the three par threes that he's already played today. Pin cut on the left. Well, this one is actually left of the flag, but not much. Yeah, <laughs> so Mickelson with a short birdie putt to get to 11. You know exactly what a putt like this would mean to give you a bit of a cushion with two holes to play. And he's not going to take a lot of time and stew over the line here. Phil Mickelson is now one birdie away. So I only had uh, 110 yards. I just hit a sand wedge and flew it right right by the hole. It uh, hopped just past and almost went in right there as it, as it came by. And I had about a little bit left to right. This then following up with a birdie putt at 11. Well, I don't remember that one. What hole was that on? That wasn't 11. Oh, it was 11, yeah, six of the out of the right rough there, pretty good shot. And this was a little six iron on 12 that ended up a foot. And I hit just a little cut shot in there and it just trickled up there right by the hole. All right, so you're three under three, after three, what are you thinking right now? We have a par five 13 and I hit a really good drive where I wanted, but it ended up in the middle of the, in that cactus there in the middle of the fairway. So I hit a, a pitch out to a nine iron uh, and hit the nine iron a, a, a foot or two there, which uh, was a good For a couple pars and this a birdie putt at 16. It broke quite a bit right to left and I had a good, had good pace, just kind of took the break and went in. And there's a, no better hole to make birdie than 16 here at TPC. And then tee shot at 17. What are your favorites? Yeah, I, I'll tell you what, this tee shot, I, I have a tendency to miss the ball left, you know, with driver. This driver is a dream. I put it in the bag Tuesday and this Razor Fit Extreme gave me the confidence to not miss it left. I took it right up the middle of the green. And I'll tell you, the, the big thing for me today was I drove the ball effortlessly, uh, put the ball in play fairly reasonably, and my misses when I made bad swings weren't too bad. And, and that was a putt on 18 there that, uh, that I made about 18 feet as well. Press a little bit. This is a six iron here. I'd look for a left to right draw out of him. He's going to have to hit this pretty good to get it back to the hole. Just saw yesterday, Roger, he birdied all four par threes on the golf course. He finds the middle of the green there. So Phil Mickelson and Jason. It's ever so slightly downhill and should turn to his right. Pretty good looking putt here. Perfectly read there from Phil. So he birdies at the ninth where it all came to a close yesterday. Two bunkers down the right, more of a problem than the one on the left. So they're within reach. Yeah, things, you know, things look like they're starting to firm up out there. Green's a fraction quicker than yesterday. Shots like this close yesterday. Real close. This looks pretty good. Could have used that one yes. yesterday, an element of heartbreak. We saw that uh, on Sunday at the 09 Masters, British Open a couple sort of years ago. Foot. It's amazing. With 40 wins, he's had uh, so many moments that have actually gone the other way. All those in one. Let's face it. <laughs> Justice a day late. Film it. He really kissed his driver after, after the drive at 10. Let's see if he still rubs him. It should. 
That's a nice one for Phil. 157 left. Hole cut on just six paces. This is a, a good, good tough iron shot here. You want to favor right of the hole a little bit. You don't want any part of that front left bunker. Not a lot of room to work with if you put it in there. It's been the toughest green to hit, but Phil Mickelson has hit nine of the ten greens he's played today. 25 of 28 thus far in this tournament. This is a nine iron for Phil. This is an aggressive looking shot and right at it. Boy, indeed it is. He found some in his ball striking on the way from San Diego last week to Phoenix. 17th, 71.45. Now, Phil, for a birdie, he'd like to make the same score he did yesterday, which was a three. Oh, he's played that 11th hole twice in a total of six strokes. What little breeze there is, and I do mean little. Seems to be uh, at his back. Well, that's not a good line. Oh, yeah. Juicy. That's it. it was a laser. I mean, it just looked good from the second it came off the club face. And like I said earlier, he's hit a bunch of those in the last two days. Whatever he found Wednesday afternoon, it's working. And 15 under. Note it tough says seven holes. Yeah, he's driving the ball well. He's hitting a lot of quality irons. Uh, I, you know, I think he's got to take a lot from that. Now he's got 241 to the hole. Gary. Uh, this Gary. is going to go left. As we said, that's a pretty deep low down. Nicholson now with his third. Does not have the 64 degree wedge that he usually has in his bag this week. 60 degrees is most lofted wedge, so uh, he can't play that flop up on here with this club. I don't believe he's going to have to land it short of the green as well. Those fringes are sticky, Roger. Not that bad, Frank. Yeah. <laughs> well, he rarely did. third birdie in a row. Mickelson to 16 under par. You lost to Johnny by only 35 shots. Raj? It was 45. Or, or just or that just this week. <laughs> but, but but you had you had a better time at the bird's nest. Yeah, I'm that guessing. was my first two weeks on the tour. And I'll tell you what, I learned a big lesson about what I thought was good and what was really good. And this drive's really good. Right in the middle. That's a great test for Mickelson here, isn't it, uh, Raj, with the uh, water left? Across oh, the swing, right. moving left to right. Boy, good looking shot. Oh, good looking shot. Right, it is. That's how you make a par five easy. <laughs> oh. Here at 17, Mickelson Raj has decided to hit less than driver. And I like this. I do not like driver when that hole is in the back left. Now, with this said, this is throttled right at the center of the green with less than driver. And <laughs> 309 to the front. Uh, no problem. That gets up into the green. I mean, that's. to the right a little bit as it goes over the ridge and then try to creep back left. That's a pretty good effort yeah, really from there. That's a nice lag good putt. putt. We'll just take this and just knock it firmly right in the back of the hole. Yes, sir. 
making it look easy as Phil Mickelson moves to ninth. On today, earlier, Phil, who began this tournament with four straight birdies when he flirted with that 59 on Thursday. Birdie to start today. Started off with a four-shot lead. Mickelson trying to hold off the pursuers with his second birdie of the day. Ninth. Well, it's another one where he just swings and picks up the tee, Peter. I mean, he's not even watching him. He's driving the ball beautifully, isn't he? Great release, uh, Peter. Below his feet here. Ooh, I got a good break kick to the bottom. So he'll have a Nicholson who was in that uh, he was in that bunker practicing. This is his first greenside bunker all week. He was in there really visualizing his shot. And he did a beautiful job. He's got that left for his birdie. The key here to winning at TPC Scottsdale, in my opinion, is greens and regulation. You've got to hit the ball here at the TPC of Scottsdale. 52 under. Center Phil Mickelson. And than anyone he's ever used before. And he's using more loft yeah. than he's ever used. Yeah, 9.5 driver. Boy, oh, this is just perfect up the right side, right center of the fairway. Beautiful tee shot. It's now from 264. Miss it very high and going at the left bunker. Birdie 16 and then not birdie 17. That'd keep them within three or four shots of the lead. If he were to birdie two of those, he's going to go in with a nice lead tomorrow. Now, Rod, he's got a lot of green to work with, but it's not that easy a shot. Has to land on the downslope. Yeah, and, and it comes over a bit of a ridge and gets a little more dramatically downhill, some 15, 18 feet in front of the hole. So, yeah, not a simple shot here. Yeah, when you can do that, though. Well, played it much differently than Ryan Moore did, John. That was the way it should be played. A lot of acceleration through. Carry at seven feet and in, and this one is exactly seven feet. And he's still perfect. Moves to 21 under par. 12, which is also 174. Well, he's going right at the hole. Oh, come on. <laughs> well, that's the best shot we've seen today. Kevin Knott had it at three feet, 10 inches, and Mickelson topped that. You know, for a second there, Jake, it looked like he was trying to walk that one into the hole, like he was trying to walk the putt in on Thursday for the 59. As I said, nobody likes this more than Phil. And take a look at this shot. That's some good stuff. One more look coming right at you. John, you were talking earlier about his release. He looks like he is not fighting the club head releasing through the through the shot. Yes, watch this reaction here, but I think having a driver that he believes in won't hit it the ball to the left. That was his killer move, Peter. And I think he feels like a new player right now. A lot of weight's gotten off his shoulders with the good driver. Get in and start giving away stuff. But anyway, there's gonna be a little roar here. have driven it in the water already today. On, Haven't seen him miss it left, on, have we? Much. No. And uh, this is quite the stat. First 36 rounds he's played here. He hit the green once off the tee, and he's already done it each of the first two rounds. He's going with the three wood again, Roger, and he drove it right on the green with three wood yesterday. He sure did. 310 to the front edge here. A little bit of breeze helping. He's playing a left to right draw, and this is going just right of the hole. 
Well, it carries that little pot bunker and it shoots forward. It lands on a down slope. And that is almost hole high, and if it stays right there, a fair oh. Mickelson, fairly straightforward shot here, Raj. Yeah, just has to pitch it up, uh, green a little bit above the level of where his feet are, where the ball is. Oh, nice yes. touch. Beautiful. Really nice touch. That's beautiful. Landing that ball short of the green that uh, overseeded. Uh, He's at 15, 16, and 7. Here he can't carry, uh, but he he's just going to, like you say, just rip it just right of the left bunker. It's at the end of the concert. To the left. And that is way left. He's like thinking, well, I can handle that, I guess. Oh, and Edison's got so many good vibes around Roger. You know, he lived here, ASU, the gallery's favorite. Uh, it's won here a couple times, and I mean, it's just it'd be tough to beat him. Tough to have, see him shoot anything more than about a 68 tomorrow. Well, he's just got to feel so good. I mean, the reception every hole, every tee he walks on, every green he walks on. You know, the adoration from the from the spectators here is just so total. I mean, he's just got to feel like he's superhuman, you know? Yeah, that's true. This yeah. is going to go left a little bit, Roger. Uh, just yeah, a just, little. Yes, I mean a little. 15 feet, just outside right edge. This to tie the 54 hole tournament record. I think we just right edge. Birdie number 24. Wow, that's uh, quite the up and in. Got a little. Uh, this ball pulled a little left of the hole, or right of the hole, excuse me. It used to be cutting up the hill. Doesn't have to Why not? Where did he need that? Listen, with a five iron. Oh, oh. And this going at the center of the green, pretty much in the same line as Patty Harrington's. Go, go. Just bounce right on top of Harrington's ball, and it's going to trickle in, just playing a half stroke. Under par today, four and a half. Going with the three metal. Really swinging aggressively and Boy. releasing the club the best I've ever seen him. That's perfect. Yeah. We're not. We're not seeing. Where wouldn't he want to hit it, Roger? Well, any place other than the green, I think. <laughs> <laughs> This, this whole location, guys, is the easiest one that you're going to see here at 13. The pin is back left. A lot of room to work with here. Beautiful shot. Wow. That's a heck of a shot off that side hill. Harrington's got the beady eyes. Mickelson's got those soft eyes. And this one will go a little to his left. Get out of the hole. He's been killing the finish of this course 13 through 18 this week, 11 under par. Here at 15, Mickelson on the tee. Another hole, water down the left. He's driven it beautifully here all week long. And there's another one. Perfectly positioned right side of the fairway. Uh, from the wall of the hazard to the green about 100 feet. Is that about right? Yeah, I think that's about right, John, yeah. So you do have room if you happen to come off of it short. But you don't want to give it a try in that regard. It's been hitting his irons the best I've seen him in a long time. Oh, he wants it to get.
get up, and this is going a little left. Well, that'll catch that bunker. Yeah, that'll take some magic to get that one up and down. He's going to have to land it right on the down slope. There's a little knob that comes into the green out of that longer shot, but he, remember John took that big swing and put a lot of spin on the ball. Well, he is on that little upslope, mm -hmm. and uh, that may help. Yeah, he's got the loft, super lofted lob wedge. Doesn't have that this week, John. Only has a 60. Does not have a 64. And I guess he doesn't need it. <laughs> that was fun. There's another big swing. Yep, safely in. 27 under par. Now, as you said, Gary, that green runs away from him over that knob between himself and the hole. Don't you think he'd just have to say, I've got to hit it past the hole. <laughs> Worst thing you could do is come up short. Right. Just go ahead and take your medicine and hit it eight or ten feet by. There's the big swing. He's making the big swing, but it's going to carry past the hole. Okay, safe. So Mickelson will be putting before Snedeker. Is that yes. correct? Yes. He he's out. He's out. And boy, this doesn't look like there's much in this putt, Gary. From this angle, does it fall slightly left? Uh, if anything, but uh, yeah. not much. It's in. Oh, nice. <laughs> Jared Carey to that uh, lake. <laughs> Up against the steel gray sky. And that clears the hazard. Caram's well, he's got the best angle. By far, shooting right up the angle of the green. 135, well, it's not that bad. To the hole. Commercially done. If Mickelson pars 18 and shoots 256, when Mark Kalkavecchia shot the other 256 here in 2001, the Baltimore Ravens won the Super Bowl on that day. I don't want to hear that one. Oh, don't They're say that. that. <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> and Ray Lewis, the MVP of their only Super Bowl appearance before today. Sure. Sorry to say, you're going to have to dodge that little bit of history. <laughs> because Mickelson is on the count number 256. Hey, they don't correlate. <laughs> In the Scottsdale area. Got, got to give Butch Harmon a little thumbs Absolutely, up. Absolutely, the late emergency yeah. session that Butch came in and yeah. got Phil straightened up. And, and that was a big deal. So many 